Yeah, but they said, be thankful you're not on a Disney cruise with all the kids. Carnival. Yeah, yeah, they said it. And we both packed really well. But guess what? I forgot. I forgot swim trunks. So I'll be buying a pair of swim trunks aboard this cruise, something I've never had to do before, but it happened. All right, so we're here with Santana. We had him on the last cruise. You saw him. It's great to see you again. It's a pleasure. Guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Hello. Today, Brandon, where are we at? What are we doing? Well, we are in Port Miami. We are in Miami, Florida, in Port Miami. We survived it already, everyone. <laughs> um, but uh, we are uh, about to embark on a five night Disney Dream Cruise. Well, a Disney Cruise on board the Disney Dream. That's right. Our home ship, even though it's no longer in Orlando or Port Canaveral at home. But um, no, we just made the, what, three and a half, four hour drive. It's about four hours. And uh, we cannot wait. We are excited. We, so have, we, excited. we have five days. Six, I guess, if you count the morning that you go home, but no one really counts that, nor should you. Um, but we get five full days. It's going to be amazing. We are so excited. Anything really quick before we go in? No, in our debrief, we'll talk a little bit about arriving to the port, anything you need to know about the port. Yep. But right now, we're going to get on this ship, and we cannot wait. To we, share the five days with y'all. Yeah, we cannot wait. We new ports for us set, to stop at. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to bring oh, all that up on the ship. Grand Cayman, it's going to be amazing. Castaway, everything. We could talk forever. We are so excited. We're about to walk on board. Literally right now, right over there. It's right there, everyone. We can't wait. Uh, we look forward to sharing it all with you, like we always have, going back years now. Um, I think Disney Dream was our first cruise we shared. It was. it was. There it is, everyone. So we're coming back. Yep. Show you all the fun stuff. Ready to go All right, board? Yep, All right here go. we go. Good evening. Good evening. So we checked in, we made it. It's it was a little well we'll do a debrief. Watch till the end. A little hectic. Um, different than what even pre-COVID or post during COVID. I don't know if we're post-COVID yet, but a little different. So we're going to our muster station. Yes. And yep. Hopefully lunch. Yep. So we made it to lunch. We are here at Animator's Palette, which is one of the lunch options here on the Dream. It's the sit-down option, and we like it just because the special diets options always feel more manageable. We don't have a lot of wait times. Brandon's making faces at me right now. <laughs> um, but it's amazing. So far, so good. Um, Shrika, who's our server, came out. He knew our special diets right away, which was awesome. Um, but we're going to make this a little brief because we are, I would say, fairly close to other folks. So just out of respect, we're going to try to keep it on the down low. Yeah, you're, we'll talk, especially your good friend Brandon. We'll discuss this later. So quick cut there because our assistant server came by um, with some sugar for my tea, which I did not use, but very nice either way. Um, but we did get our bread service. And I wanted to point out that Disney is actually... Um, on the cruise line, they usually use energy rolls, but they have the Bloomfield Farms rolls. I was excited to see these. We love these. Um, these are always at the Disney parks, very allergy friendly. I got some Earth Balance, and then Brandon got regular rolls and regular butter. So otherwise, okay. nothing new here. But I but do I'm like. Glad that these are here. Yes, I I do like these allergy rolls better. I think you're going to take one. Yeah, so I'm going to take one. Mm -hmm. uh, we are both really excited right now. It feels really good to be back on board, be back home, as people say. Um, but tables are closed. <laughs> so we'll, 
We'll show some video later, but uh, it is awesome. Our servers team has been outstanding so far. Um, we didn't even tell them our allergies. He just came out and knew it immediately. So yeah, that's the awesome. Yeah, market on your reservation. Yep. So, spoiler alert, Brandon <laughs> went from his other roles to the gluten-free roles. The gluten-free. They are so much better, everyone. For real. Hot, hot, warm, soft. Everyone, if you watch our other videos, you guys know. I don't particularly care for these. It's, it's like a rock. Um, even if you're not, I'm not gluten free. Get the allergy rolls on board the Disney Cruise Line. Please believe me on that. They're worth. I, I wasn't gonna say worth every penny, but it's worth the substitute only. Ninety percent of the time, they're a thousand times better. So whatever that average is, but um, really good. Glad to be back. Gluten free rolls making me happy. So we're back now. Sarah said, I'm grumpy, and the tables are angering me. Everyone, I'm going to pan over. <laughs> this is where we're sitting. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to pan left because people are this there. Is but for the Disney Wish. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right on top of each other. Very awkward, but um, it's amazing. I am not grumpy, everyone. I love Sarah. I love Disney. I love Disney Dream. And I love you guys. Love y'all. All right, everyone. So, soup is here for both of us, but disaster has struck the awesome <laughs> server. No disaster. You got soup? Yeah, I got soup. The, um, I usually get empanadas as well, but what changed, Sarah? They, the changed, empanadas? they changed supplies, so I think there's fish and shellfish cross-contamination issue. So, that's new. So, that is new. If uh, you list the fish and shellfish, there go the empanadas as of now. Now, that could change, like Sarah said, supply issues, and I've forgotten them every time before. And uh, Sarah will explain hers. She had to switch out soups, too. But I got, what I get? Potato soup. Potato soup. You know Brandon loves potatoes. Yep. And soup. So it's probably going to be hot, but let's have a bite. So there is now um, oh. a oh. Brandon's happy. Well, yeah. There is now a roux that's inside that soup, so I cannot have that. But Brandon, that's what there is. Because normally you would get that. Yeah. And um, a roux? Yeah, it's flour. Oh, okay. I was like roux from uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Isn't there a little... Yeah, or the Golden Room Clan Ham from Golden Girl. Room okay, we're going, we're, going, we're, going, we're going out. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being good soup. Travel down the road and... So no, we'll let, uh, we'll turn this camera around and uh, let Sarah try hers. All right, so I ended up getting, um, again, because I can't have the potato soup because of the root in it. That's a change. Normally it does not have that, but they have updated the recipe. So I ended up getting the gumbo. So we're going to give it a looks try. Okay. Yeah, looks like there's some shrimp and chicken in it. That's not the leaking potato. <laughs> I'm not a huge tomato-y based soup no. kind of fan. It's, if you like gumbo, this is a little spicy. Maybe giving, give it a, a try. Yeah, and here's the thing. Yeah. I do want to give credit. Oh, we yes, I wanted the empanadas, and Sarah did want the leaf potato soup, but things have changed. You got to roll with it. But even better is our server and the chef warned us. And he was so, like, we take it very seriously. Very seriously. Yep, awesome. We want, and he had this ready yep. as an alternative. So even if I couldn't have this, it's yep. ready to go so that I could have this if I want it. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So uh, no issues. But um, yeah, so try something new. Yeah. Right, so on Chris King, I got the, uh, what I get? The sailor steak or something? Sir, sailor steak. A sirloin steak. <laughs> sirloin steak. So um, it's the same thing I get every time. It's always pretty good. Um, so let's try it, shall we? Yeah. And also, gluten-free as well. Not dairy-free, but gluten-free. Can be made dairy-free. Good. <laughs> it's yeah. good. Got on board after a four-hour trip. Delicious, actually, <laughs> but um, really good. I'll get it every time we come for our embarkation lunch, and um, recommend it. It's um, nothing super special, but you know what it is? It's a meal on board a Disney cruise ship. Therefore, it's elevated on that. Um, should I try the potato? Try the potato. Consider the potato. <laughs> That's the winner. What is it? Potato on potato, right? Yeah, it's like a choice baked potato with cheese. Really good. And, um, again, steak is solid. Potato is really good. And um, we're going to our steak room after this. No, we still got dessert. 
And dessert. And dessert. Um, but really good. I want Sarah's looks delicious. So uh, let's Sarah dive into her. Okay, so like Brandon, I got the same thing. I every, get, time. every time. We go to this embarkation lunch. So I got a chicken Caesar salad. This is gluten free, it is not dairy free. You can get an option that is dairy free. You can get like a regular salad with different kinds of dressing as an option. So I definitely love this because it's a light option, especially when you're on a cruise ship. As we will say, they always feed you very well. Yes, they do. So I'm going to try it. Dig in. Good to be home. Welcome home. You've <laughs> arrived. <laughs> Leave a comment if you know where that's from. Very good. Chicken is great. Um, it's a reasonable sized portion, which I like. Greens are tasty. Dressing is good. Exactly what you want to say. Welcome back. Welcome home, Disney Cruise Line. Welcome home, Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, very good. Awesome. All right, so um, dessert has come. It looks really good. Now, the dessert I originually ordered, the uh, Embark Gift. Say, well, I, welcome aboard Sunday. Welcome, welcome aboard. Sunday. aboard. <laughs> now, I get it every time, but guess what I couldn't get this time? The Welcome Aboard Sunday. Why is that there? I don't know. I think there's probably something in it. That Cross contamination issue. Yeah. Something. Anyway. So they made me a regular just chocolate, uh, not dairy free, everyone. But, um, chocolate, chocolate ice cream. Uh, looks great. Oh. Oh, he, he's happy. <laughs> he went in right, right away for bite number two. Very sharp in the ice cream. Really good. Really good. Perfect way to end a uh, embarkation lunch. No issues. I do not mind at all. I could not have what I normally have. The Sail Away Sunday, which has always been delicious, but this is awesome. Welcome so. aboard, Brandon. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Sunday. This is delicious, though. Um, awesome. But look at Sarah. Okay, I'm not going to make a this, talk, this dessert is the bomb comment because I've made it before, but this is the um, chocolate marquise bomb, um, which is a no sugar added dessert, which I don't typically love, but for some reason, I love this dessert. I get it every time. It's gluten free, it does contain dairy. Um, so there are some other options you would want to ask about if you were dairy free. I do like it because it's just a light mousse, no raspberry whipped on topping on it. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, normal, just as good yeah. as it's always been. It's weird. Again, I'm not a huge no sugar added yeah. dessert fan, but I just love that this is very light. Awesome. It's light. It's not too heavy. Perfect for an embarkation lunch and safe for my special diet. Awesome. So it's a great way to start the trip. Awesome. Okay, six, six, four, zero. And luggage is already here. Oh, luggage is already here, which made it even with a temporary tag. Yep. But here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, our water's here. We did order water. We did. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back out for a little. Oh, yeah. and look, we did get the extended room. We'll do a full room oh, tour in a little bit. Good. Oh, it's huge. We have a nice stand-up shower this time. Usually, well, they're always stand-up showers, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, um, Ooh. so stuff is here. Much bigger room. Oh, and Sarah's right. Our we water. gifted ourselves water. We gifted ourselves water. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah. Yeah, room. this is, oh, look, there's a Murphy bed. Which, again, we're, we'll do a full room tour as we always do. But, yeah, yeah. full-on Murphy bed. Yeah, so we did get, um... So we booked with a Florida resident, right? If you have not kept up with our books, we were supposed to be on the Wish a few weeks ago, and we ended up having that cruise canceled because of Hurricane yeah. Ian. And so we ended up rebooking a last-minute Florida resident rate for the Disney Dream, and we had what's a, essentially a guaranteed stateroom in a certain category, and they actually upgraded us to the family, was it the deluxe family Ocean View Veranda, something or other. In any event, it's it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> Leave a comment if you remember. It's huge. Wow, this is a really large room. Yeah. I'm so, excited. We'll take a tour soon. Yeah. The room is awesome. Yes, it's awesome. It's awesome. We have not done a stateroom tour yet. We will maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Um, 
give a full tour and we know some people love those and some people just want to skip right by a room tour. I will put little timestamps <laughs> yeah. whatever so, day it shows up on so you can yep. move right through if you do not enjoy them. Absolutely. So, um, but quickly, usually we would do this in the debrief, but maybe we can, so we don't have to focus on this on the debrief, embarkation lunch. It was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say uh, overall very good. It's a very standard sort of sit down lunch. The menu yep. has not changed in years. Yep. Um, so we know what we want. I think the difference was this time that there were a few changes because of yeah. supply chain issues. So we, that's one. We couldn't get everything we wanted. Yeah. And I think that's a tip. Even mm -hmm. when we were like on the magic in January this year, supply chain issues, things mm -hmm. change, even from the dream in April is different. Yep. Now they've got Bloomfield Farms rolls, which I was very excited about. So that's an upgrade. Yeah. The upgrade. rolls, the gluten free sure. rolls, much better. I prefer them. Yep. Potato I, leek soup, not being safe. Yeah, what, what the heck? And I can't get the empanadas anymore? Yeah. Why can't I get them, Sarah? No, I think there was fish and shellfish in the... How are there fish and shellfish in an empanada, everyone? Nobody knows. I'm pretty sure they're filling. But... Nobody knows. In any event, sure. overall, it was a good meal. Yes, it, no, and it I was. Think Our service team. Oh, service team was awesome. Excellent. Uh, Sharikna? I, I literally wrote... Sharikna? Them. I wrote their names yeah. down, but it's in my phone, which is, guess what it's doing right now? It's recording us. So Sarah okay. might put a caption in right here or yeah. something like that. Or we'll, we will definitely bring them up in our debrief. Excellent. So friendly, so helpful. And then on the way out, who did we see, Sarah? We saw Lazar, who was our <laughs> server on our last cruise. We will link to those cruise vlogs because yep. Lazar makes an appearance along with our assistant server, yep. Santana, yeah. on day four. three or four. Three. The, last, the last night. The last, the last night meal. of our cruise. Yep. Um, and they were Lazar. awesome. And it was great to chat with him. Lazar remembered us years later. So it was it like four months ago. <laughs> it feels like an eternity ago, everyone. But Lazar came up to us, right? However, yeah, it was listen, awesome. if you work for Disney Cruise Line, if you know what the heck they're doing to train their people, or are there all their people just immensely have elephant memories? Yeah. Okay, I don't. Sarah will tell you, I could meet someone, hang out with them for a whole day, and I, I apologize. I may or may not remember their name. I will eventually, but Disney Cruise Line people? Yeah. And I, we've had people remember us a year later. It's more sharp. than that. We've more seen than, people a couple yeah. years later and they're like, oh my gosh, hey. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. And it's really fun for us too because we have cruised with Disney Cruise Line a fair amount now. This is cruise number nine for me and eight, eight for me. you. Next one is what after that? Ten. I'm going to be platinum which means, so soon. <laughs> which means what happens after the 10th cruise? Platinum? Platinum. But it's been amazing so far. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's been awesome. Um, we're going to cut this short. Oh, really quick. Do we want to really quickly or talk about it in the debrief? And we're not trying to prolong this. Do you want to bring up the water issue? Oh, it's not an issue. Just Not an issue. Issue does not mean a bad yeah, thing. Just something to know about. So uh, normally when you're on Disney Cruise Line, you can buy Dasani waters. And actually, we'll find out if this is different because we mm -hmm. haven't bought any yet. Um, but we will usually buy sort of the larger size Dasani water. It has a um, top you can re-screw back on. Yeah, they're like that big so, and you. And we love them in the room because it's like if you want to have like a half a thing of water mm -hmm. or maybe you need a sip of something, you have it here. And so talking. I pre-ordered some water in advance because I know that we will go through it and it would just be good to have that on hand. And they were different. They're small ones. So just something to know if you're pre-ordering an onboard gift because you can buy water and other things ahead of time. A little tiny can. Listen, everybody. Hashtag listen. If this is the first time you've viewed our channel. I think price wise, we should have just bought the ones on the Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time. If, you, if you've never viewed us before or don't know how amazing we are, um, hashtag listen is one of our things. Thanks to our fans, actually. <laughs> but, um, if you have, you know what I'm about to say, probably. Listen. listen it's just everybody. tiny. Yeah, listen, everybody. We'll find another one for comparison. Yeah, I want to find another one for comparison because we have gotten Dasani water on board the crew, Disney Cruise mm -hmm. every single time. And it's always the bigger metal still, of course, aluminum, whatever, uh, with the twisty top. Mm -hmm. um, so we assumed the water we were going to get in the room would be that. Yeah. This is what they gave. Again, we're going to drink it. Every one of these yeah, just something to we'll know about drank, if you do order them in advance. <laughs> yeah, so um, just a heads up, if you order in advance, at least as of mm -hmm. now, and here's proof, they, well, co cans of Coke looking, you know, normal yeah. can. Um, so they're going to be delicious. We love Dasani water. 
Um, so just just a heads up, we won't dwell on that or anything. Yeah. We are not upset. We, we genuinely are, but it is something to, I think, fair to bring up. Yeah, and maybe after this series of vlogs, we'll do like a things to know about. Um, yeah. We get a lot of questions about special dietary needs, how we handle yeah. that um, on a cruise ship. And so maybe we'll do something where we cover some of these things. Even the cruise port here arriving was a little bit different this time. So maybe we can share oh, yeah, uh, a tips video for folks as well. Um, but yeah, I think so. we're just going to... We've unpacked. We have unpacked, so that's what we, we were doing. While yeah, we we've unpacked, and now I think we're going to go explore the ship, okay. or like we see things we love on the ship because yeah. we know the ship very well. Yeah. And then tonight we have dinner at Animator's Palette. Um, let's talk about Animator's Palette. Oh everyone. no! Oh no! Let's talk Let, about that later. <laughs> let's talk about that later, everyone. If you if you have seen our other videos, it's not our favorite. It is on not our favorite. Dream class ships. No, we love it on, on the Magic. The magic. Yeah. Amazing. Animator's Palette is incredible, but. Okay. It's not our favorite, but we're, we're going there tonight. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go explore the ship a little bit. I think we might go get a drink uh, or bring a drink back to the room yeah. as we embark. Yeah, because when we leave, I don't know if we've commented on this in any of our multiple other cruise videos, but surely you've noticed it. We do not go to the uh, sail away party. It's um, not our It's not, it's our, not thing. our thing. Um, if it is your thing, that is awesome. And it looks like thousands of people yeah. enjoy it. You can watch it, yeah. lots of videos, watch lots out of there videos on, it. on it. We prefer and always have while we sail away from any port we're in, get on our mm -hmm. veranda, have just our privacy and just enjoy it. Yeah. Um, now I never want to leave this room. Yeah, this room um, is awesome. And we also, a lot of times you'll see if you've watched some of our old vlogs uh, on cruising, we typically pre-order allergy friendly cupcakes. We did not this time. Oh yeah. Um, for just because it, we made this really last minute, so we just decided not to. Um, but maybe we'll go get some bubbly or something like that, or some the of the bubbly, yeah, some champagne. Hashtag bubbly. That's right. And just explore. We'll do dinner tonight. Also, it's Halloween on the high seas. Oh yeah. We, so we stay made, tuned for all of that. Yeah, I for, uh, we we probably have footage by now that Sarah's inserted. It is Halloween on the high seas. This is our second time doing it. Yeah. So we cannot wait to explore more. And it has one of the best covers of the Halloween theme uh, by John Carpenter. The doo, 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 doo. Awesome enough that yes, I paid the dollar twenty nine and downloaded it from the iTunes Store. This version of it on the ship. It's awesome. If you haven't heard it, nothing's going to beat the original John Carpenter score from one of the most classic films of all time. Hashtag Halloween. Um, but. The score on board the ship is really cool. Yeah, anyway, and, you'll, and you'll see there's characters. Yeah, we have anyway. Halloween on the high sea shirts. So stay tuned for all of that. This is getting yeah, really long. It is. So, so let's go explore. All right. <laughs> Get to the good stuff, because obviously people don't always want to watch people sitting on the couch talking. So we're going to cut now. Okay. All right, so we are on deck four right now. Our favorite deck of the ship. The, oh, that's awesome. the promenade. It, the promenade deck, which um, is amazing, beautiful, gorgeous. The Titanic deck. The Titanic deck. And we're going to call it that no matter what. So. Yeah, so the Titanic deck, and yep. now we're going to go head towards the atrium because we want to check out more Halloween on the high sea stuff and Halloween awesome. tree. Yeah, cannot wait. And then upstairs, because it is up to the top deck, because it is super nice. Yeah, and uh, we did on our way out, we did meet our stateroom attendant, Leon. Oh, yeah, Leon. 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 is a professional. <laughs> does that, yeah. Hashtag, does everyone remember, usually, usually I say stuff like this, but... Sarah, does everyone remember what? Leon the Professional. Leon the Professional. In the U.S., we called it the Professional. Everywhere else in the world, it's called Leon. But finally now, even in the United States, it's called Leon. It's unedited. Luke Besson, awesome writer-director, did The Fifth Element. Leon, of course. And why is that? And La Femme Nikita. Anyway, hashtag Luke Besson. Hashtag Luke Besson. Do a follow-up to The Fifth Element, please. Um, also, where Natalie Portman got her start in Leon. Go on to be... Queen Padme and Madala, and many other, an Academy Award winner for oh, Black okay. Swan. Anyway, so uh, Sarah said we are going to the atrium lobby yeah. area and uh, check that out, and then up to the top deck. Yeah, up to the top deck. We're going to get drinks, and then we're going to head out and off the ship sail to sea. Sail away from Miami.
Right, I don't know if we're gonna get copyright. Carnival's pet. Hold on. Alright, so Carnival's going by us, getting louder and louder, and they made an announcement saying they are thankful. Yeah, but they said, be thankful you're not on a Disney cruise with all the kids. Carnival. Yeah, yeah, they said it. Carnival. We are on a Disney cruise, but we don't have kids. They're having a great time, it looks like. Maybe we'll be for it. They are jam good for them. So we hope everyone on the Carnival, we joke a lot. But any cruise is better than no cruise. And they even threw shade at Disney, but oh well. So uh, you know what, though, Carnival? Disney has a nicer looking cruise ship that doesn't look like it's falling apart. But no, it looks like they're having a great time. So happy for them. If you watch this video somehow and you're on that Carnival ship, hopefully it was an awesome time. All right, so what so, did we do, Sarah? Well, we explored up on the yeah. top deck. Got some good footage. We got that. some good footage. Um, it was really fun just to kind of be up there. Nice sunny. Well, now it's starting to rain. But yeah. <laughs> it was very nice. We're up there. Also, things transpired. Well, and what did you buy, Sarah? I got us a entire cruise rainforest room pass. Things happen. We're relaxing. And it's relaxing. And we both packed really well, but guess what? I forgot. I forgot swim trunks, so I'll be buying a pair of swim trunks aboard this cruise, something I've never had to do before, but it happens. But <laughs> also, so after buying the uh, Rainforest Room Pass. Yes, um, which we will explain Rainforest Room a little yeah. bit more. Oh, we later. will, in detail later I'm on. I'm super excited. We've done it a ton before, mm -hmm. but not for five days. Five whole days. And then, and then we went down to guest services, and why did we do that? Oh, yeah. I had some Disney gift cards um, that I saved up with some money on it, so we put that on our stateroom account just to cover some of yep. the expenses. And then what else did we do? Which we're going back to the room right now. Uh, what did you get, Sarah? Uh, we went to the Bon Voyage bar. One of the bars we hadn't been to. Deck three. We hadn't been to that one yet. And I got a Moet and Chandon uh, Rosé champagne. Awesome. And I got a double shot of yeah. Crown Royal Whiskey. Yeah. Um, a good way to start yeah. off our cruise. Usually I get it on the rocks, and Sarah knows. But Dad chose not to. Why water it down, everyone? <laughs> so, no. Um, we cannot wait. We should yeah. be leaving port. Very, very shortly. Very shortly. So, so we're heading back to the room. Yeah, instead of staying far, we decided to take this back to the room. So yep. we're going to sit out on our veranda with our drinks and yep. just enjoy going out to sea, yep. even if it's raining. Right. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> All right, we are on our veranda. We still have our drinks, but they're down here. Mm -hmm. um, but we are leaving the port of Miami, or Miami, the United States in general. We are out to sea. We are going out to sea, as you can, uh, well, Sarah wants her better footage, but yeah, we are. Yeah. We are moving. Passing the different terminals, yeah. yeah. The Symphony of the Seas is over here. Okay. And I'm excited. Yeah, we are excited. We're leaving. We, um, yeah, it's awesome. I don't know what we're gonna say for once. I'm um, just excited to be here. It does look like looking at the Miami skyline. It is raining over yeah, there. Yeah, it's so raining. I think it's over definitely here, raining. but it's not over there. So, so we are heading away from the rain, everyone. But everyone, I want to know something. What do I want to know? Oh no. Have you ever seen the rain? Oh my. Leave a comment if you've seen the rain. Oh jeez. Sarah, do you want 1% cash back if you sign up for the Ally Do It Right card? Yes, everyone, before you leave Miami on a magical Disney cruise, <laughs> Ally, don't you?
will never change. So we are out to see officially the, um, we just got video, Sarah will post it mm -hmm. here or edit it in. Um, the pilot, Chip just came by, or he's here now yeah, to pick up the pilot. Um, we are the first channel of our size, of course, to post the pilot person. And now every channel's doing it, hashtag, oh, we did it first. <laughs> but no, no, seriously, it is cool. Um, we all know what it's about and everything, but we, uh, we would normally show the pilot jumping on board, but we kind of yeah, we'll we have an obscured view with the uh, the escape pods and everything. So, um, but yeah, I think I've done all the time. Go ahead, Sarah, and say something. I think we're good. That, that's horrible, everyone. I apologize. <laughs> She's the pilot now, everyone. Does everyone remember Captain Phillips? Um, with Tom Hanks. Actually, a pretty good movie, actually. I yeah, but I was quoting. Do you know what I was quoting? I'm the pilot now. I'm assuming I'm the captain now. Oh, I get the pilot. Oh, oh my gosh, Rogue One. I did a Star Wars reference and you didn't even catch it? I just said Rogue One. Oh Bodhi. my gosh. Bodhi Rook. Bodhi Rook. Cargo pilot. Lies. Deceptions. Every day. More lies. But uh, we are out to sea. We've had our alcohol. Maybe that's why I'm talking like this. <laughs> Hello, Hunting. Sarah, say something where it sounds like. I've just talked all over you and it's really I'm the pilot. I'm the pilot. There we go. Uh, she's Bodhi Rook. I was thinking of Captain Phillips, but Rogue One is a better movie than Captain Phillips. And uh, leave a comment if you don't agree. Anyway, so we're out of scene. Yeah. This is awesome. And uh, we're just gonna relax. Yeah, what are we doing now? Yeah, I think we're just going to relax for a little bit. And then we have dinner at 8.15, I think. So we've got a few hours. We also have to go buy Brandon some swim trunks. Yeah. Because he failed in packing. It happens, everyone. So some he, was, he was like, I've, all, I've packed everything. I'm good. Maybe some Mickey swim trunks. I don't need trunks. reminders. Maybe I can... Guess what? You needed a reminder. Get some Donald swim trunks, some Mickey... Who knows? But uh, swim trunks, we are going to need. Mm -hmm. And this, for us, everyone does cruising differently. Deck four is the best. Deck four is the, the best. And there's no one out here right yeah. now. I think the first dinner is going on. First seating? First seating plus the show. Plus the show is going on now. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's the best. Listen, everyone. Listen. No matter how many vlogs you've seen, videos you've seen, photos you've seen, unless you see it, and I'm going to hit the screen, everyone, this is weird, but there we go. Well, unless you see it with your own eyes, even, it's, it's obviously cloudy out, but it is so gorgeous. It's so nice. Yeah, so. so, are you happy to be here? I love this time. I love this time. This is the That's right, everyone. So just got done buying Tommy Bahamas swim trunks for, should we just say it? I said seventy-two dollars, everyone. Yeah. And that was with ten percent off. And that was with ten percent off. Did we learn a lesson? Yeah, there? we normally don't go over prices, but. Oh man. Okay. Um, you know that you can buy swim trunks, but they will not be cheap. They will not be cheap on the dream or on any Disney cruise ship. Maybe you can let port. Yeah, <laughs> but they're high quality. Um, but we're here with uh, Walt himself. We always give uh, thanks, Walt Disney. It's one of my three heroes. Yes, everyone, I have three heroes. Who are the others? George Lucas and uh, Steve Jobs, sorry. Steve Jobs. Walt Disney, Steve Jobs, George Lucas, they're my heroes. Sadly, only one of them is still alive. Uh, but anyway. So. Let's go with your expensive swim trunks. Back to the room to drop them off. This is Walt's dream. Walt Disney himself wanted me to spend $72 on Tommy Bahamas swim trunks. Walt, this is for you. All right, everyone, quick redirect for us. Um, Sarah, normally, what do we do after our first night when we go out to eat? Or we go out to eat, we have oh, our diet. Normally, we do a nightcap, either at Skyline or Pink, or if we're on the Magic Keys. Yep, but uh, where are we going now? I guess we're going to Skyline. Brandon, 
is really excited for this 5K cruise. I am really excited. So we're getting all the drinks. We're getting all the drinks. And uh, we're going pretty quick, it looks like, actually. Yep, yep. I'd say at least 20 knots. I am a man of the sea. So, uh, anyway, Skyline or something. Let's just go see what we yeah, can see. This, yep. Then we're going to try to see the pumpkin yep. tree ceremony and then dinner. Yep, great cruise so far. Mm -hmm. So, Skyline Lounge is currently closed due to a walk, a, a tasting. Yeah, they're doing tasting. Which is they open at seven thirty. Yeah, we're gonna try to be a little quiet. Um, but we are in Sarah's favorite place on board. We look like we're in an igloo right now. Well, I don't know. Yeah. We, we look like we're in a bubble. Yeah, we, we, we are in a bubble. We are. We are not in an igloo. We are at where? We are at Peak Wine Champagne Bar, which is one of our favorite. It really is. Dreams. And. Um, it's half the hour, so we need to save all we can after some <laughs> drinks. Um, so Brandon's getting one of the half the hour drinks, and I'm going to get uh, the elder bubble. The elder bubble. It's a cocktail, and I am getting uh, just a glass of passenger champagne. Yeah, really good. And uh, Pink Wine Bar is themed very. I mean, it's themed off of Dumbo, but not. Uh, Dumbo is the best Disney animated film of all time. Dis Dumbo is the best character of all time. Also, everyone knows what I'm about to say, unless this is your first time watching a video from us. But truly, Dumbo is the absolute best. I'm not not joking. I'll argue with anyone. I'll fight anyone. Um, Dumbo is the best of the live action Disney remakes. It blows anything else they've done out of the water. Um, Tim Burton. It's amazing. I do own it on 4K, Steelbook, 3D, everything. How many times did you watch Dumbo? Zero. I refused. She refused because she was crying during the trailer. But that's a whole other story. But no, this bar, for real, this wine bar, is Super based cute. off, and it is based off, like you're in a big top, the, uh, in Dumbo, the uh, elephants, elephants on Parade. Yep. We um, will be in here several times. Yep. We have a wine tasting, which I'm pretty sure is going to be in here. And then we are coming back because they have a champagne trio that I love, 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 love that we're coming back for. So yeah. I can't drink anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> this will be it tonight, for real. Maybe. Um, but we are waiting on our drinks, and we will resume when we get them. All right, so Gusto has Gusti. brought our drinks. Gusti. Yeah. Sorry, I apologize. Yeah, He's so, been awesome, by yeah, the way. Super awesome. We were talking through options, talking about some of the different champagnes that we like. And uh, he's like, come back tomorrow. We might have some... Price here, champagnes, um, are we going to spend the money? The I answer mean, is probably yes. Well, for $10, the answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> Especially so, if it's something like a Dom Perignon. Yeah. So the answer is definitely yes. But I got a, um, I got the Tatin Gear, which is kind of a classic on the Disney Cruise line. It's a champagne that I really love. Um, less expensive than the one I had earlier. <laughs> Um, very good. I've already sampled it before, but I will cheers. Like cheers. Leonardo DiCaprio. From The Great Gatsby. Really good movie, by the way. Based mm -hmm. off a phenomenal book, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I love this. Um, if you aren't sure if you like champagne or wine, I would come here, talk to the different yeah. um, bartenders. They're super helpful. There's sweet champagnes, dry champagnes, something for everybody. Don't skip the champagne flight. No, it's absolutely awesome. not. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Super awesome. They're very helpful here talking about stuff. So definitely come here with something mm -hmm. interested. We're not here doing live music right now, but they usually have live music here with piano, which we will definitely see at some point on this cruise. Um, yeah, just a really cozy spot. So I got the Elder Bubble, which Sarah consists of what? I know it has absolute vodka in it you know and some kind of sparkly wine that. champagne. I'm going to find out, everyone. Elder Bubble. Absolute raspberry saint germain elderflower moet and shendum imperial now everyone knows the empire from star wars is awesome so this is clearly what the empire will drink because they're so fat and satisfied again and or quote like we did in our last few videos you can't over quote and or right now because it's currently airing and it's the best thing on tv but oh, house of the dragon but anyway It'd be good to be back on the Disney Cruise. It's so unforgettable. You're in fun. Oh no boy. <laughs> One more sip, and I'm gonna set it down. 
is awesome to be back. <laughs> I have gotten the elder level multiple times, but I really want to reinforce what Sarah did say. I know nothing about wine or champagne. If you are like me, or know a little bit, or know a lot less than I do, come into Pink Wine Bar. It's amazing. I joke a lot about it being themed after Dumbo, but it is an awesome theme in here, and Dumbo is awesome, but the service here is second to none. The drinks are awesome, and just don't hesitate to come in here. It's like, I don't want to say it's a hidden gem. It is a hidden gem. But it is a hidden gem. It really is. A lot of people on the dream do not come to these adult sections. And I'm kind of glad they don't because we get it to ourselves sometimes, but I wish they would. It really deserves a lot of attention. So uh, that's about it. We're going to enjoy this and enjoy each other's company. Is your unforgettable, Brandon? Unforgettable. Oh, boy. All right. I'm not tipsy yet, but I will be. Alright, so we're here with Santana. We've had him on the last cruise. You saw him. It's great to see you again. It's a pleasure. Guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Santana. Oh, here we go. So, there you go, guys. All right, so we just sat down. I forget, Orlando is our assistant server. And Lewis. And Lewis is our main server. Um, so far, so awesome. And we saw Santana, which you guys just that saw. Was so awesome. It was awesome. Santana, you're awesome. Uh, for real. But um, our bread service came. Sarah got the free, the free, the same gluten free bread. Um, I'm so sorry. A little cut there. We just ordered um, our entrees and everything and our appetizer. but. Bread service, unlike the embarkation lunch, is actually warm for me, so I'm going to eat the regular bread. Um, still don't like these that much. But, but you got some warm focaccia? Warm, whatever that is. Yeah. I'm not going to eat everything, but really good. Much better than those. But, um, but Sarah got the front. Are we going to review yours, Sarah? No. I don't think we need to review mine. No. I will say. Yeah. As always, Bloomfield Farms. You all see if you watch our Disney videos, we do these all the time. Love them, super good. But uh, yeah, this is really good. Recommend. I this I eat. So Brandon, uh, what happened? Everyone knows I love, absolutely love the truffle pasta. On board. One? You ordered two. I ordered two. I got three. Oh, you behead Mickey. You know what? Let's just do it. Truffle pasta for set. Oh my gosh. Lewis brought them and I thought, oh, it's just one. Nope, it's two. Nope, it's three. All the pasta. Hashtag, there it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Will I eat all three? I don't know. Will we be rolling in bed? Yes. It's amazing. Highest of high recommend. There it is. Disney Cruise, make yeah. sure you eat all the food. Yeah. I did not get three. Well, I'll just say it's hard to but it is one of my favorite appetizers. It is gluten-free. It does contain dairy, but um, if you can have dairy, it's a great option. And it's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna dig in. We won't do an extensive review because I bet it's just as great as always. Still amazing. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Super fresh, super light. Cannot go wrong with this. If you can have dairy, get the salmon tartar. So, so delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no real major review live of my salad, but Sarah's I got the our chicken and walnut salad has a cranberry dressing, super tasty. Um, we've been chatting with our neighbors, which has been really fun. Yes, um, yeah. So. I've been eating while we've been chatting, but this is good. It's very fresh. I love the apple in it. There's the celery. It's kind of got like a Waldorf salad kind of vibe to it, um, but very tasty. I would get. I was trying to think if I've had this before, and I, I don't think that. Is I it know. dairy free as well? Or? No. It didn't say mark dairy free, but gotcha. I would like to know where the dairy is in this. I yeah, I don't you, see anything. Yeah. I bet you this is dairy free because a lot of times they don't always mark it, which is kind of weird. Um, so I would say if it isn't naturally dairy free, it would probably be an easy modification. But I like it very impressive. Awesome. So entrees came. I got the pork chop. I had it last time. Really good. Um, I don't like rice, so I won't eat the rice under it. But um, I'm already full. I'm probably only going to have half of this. But 
Very good. Very wet. Does that make sense? Oh, because you, I think you usually have like breadcrumbs on there. Probably moist. 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 Oh boy. And stuck to it. Oh boy. Um, really good. <laughs> really good. I'm not. If I don't eat it all, it's not because I don't like it. It's strictly because I'm so full right it's now. Because you have so much pasta. On yeah, it. but it is really good. Recommended. Uh, the pork chop. Okay, so I got the tuna, which is marked gluten free. It came with some crushed potatoes and some sauteed veggies. It was really good the last time I had it on our most recent dream cruise. Mm, yep, still good. Still good. Mm -hmm. really and it's gluten free, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Well, of course it is. Is it dairy free? This would be an easy mod, so the potatoes okay. have dairy in them, but everything else would be super easy. Um, Really tasty, really flavorful. Also, shout out to our service team for making sure we are very well fed on this cruise already. Extremely well fed. I think fed. we're going to be rolling Again, out. I, think, uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure I'm right, Lewis and Santana, I'm sorry, Lewis and Orlando. So far, they are amazing. Huge shout out. Lose in Orlando. Yeah, it sounds like all, all three tables down here are going to be eating Indian food tomorrow. Which we will uh, talk about. Well, we won't do it in our debrief. We'll talk about tomorrow. Okay, so we did not fully review our dessert because we were hanging out with Turtle Talk and Crush. Uh, uh, I got the crunchy walnut cake, which I have gotten before uh, on some of our previous cruise vlogs. It's marked gluten free. It does contain dairy, um, but it was very good, as always. Solid dessert, I recommend that. And I got the what? You've got a deconstructed carrot cake. I'm going to try to pan down. I got video. I'm not going to pan down. I'm I got gonna video. Turn, I'm going to turn around and get Brandon's impression of that, too. So, Brandon, how was your turn? Brandon, were you a fan of the carrot cake? Actually, hold on. You ate the carrot, actually. Hold on, yeah, pan funny. down. I didn't eat a lot of it, everyone, but it was good. The carrot... This you little thing like right here frosty. was actually okay. It was not bad. You didn't um, like the frosting. It's no this. Yeah, you don't like the frosting. That was, everyone. Let's create a new hashtag, shall we? Live right now. Oh, no. Live pre-recorded. So we're not live. Gag reflex. Oh, hashtag no. gag reflex. However, that, right I, that was strictly this. The um the actual carrot cake is pretty good. Yeah, for real, not bad. But um. Yeah, so uh, you experienced it live and pre-recorded with me and Sarah, but uh, not bad. Overall solid. I want carrot cake. Recommended minus. You know, I like the frosting. All right, can we go now? I'm tired. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Dark, but very brief decisions for me. Brandon, I promise you all we're not drink this much. <laughs> we are in Skyline Lounge, right up there with Pink as one of our two favorite uh, places on board. Yes. We will highlight we both have our favorite drinks on the avenue, Lewis Little Manhattan. Are we gonna cheers? Cheers. This is this is to you guys too. We need to slow our rolls. <laughs> It's like a Disney cruise. It's a Disney cruise official now. No, uh, I got the Stiletto Manhattan. What did you get, Sarah? The Avenue. Avenue. Was, uh, champagne. Good. And we're going to sit here and chill, and then we will debrief. We're back in the stateroom. Uh huh. Not quite debrief time yet, but. Baby, I'm going to bed. I know. We got our. We got our. Uh, towel animal, which is a penguin, and uh, we got some footage of it and Indeed. everything. Um, also. We have not done a room walkthrough yet. We are. We're going to do a whole walkthrough and everything because we know how much everyone loves those online. Um, but this is the first time we've been in a stateroom with a, um, not a hide a bed. A Murphy bed. A Murphy bed. So, <laughs> so guess what I requested? I get the bed to myself. You Sarah gets the bed to herself. I just don't want anyone to see that and go, oh. Is the channel about to go away or something? The answer is no. I just want to make <laughs> that abundantly wanted, clear. I desperately want to sleep in this. You want to be a little kid. I want to be a little out. kid again and try it out. We've not been in a room with one. And I said, uh, 
we were kind of joking with Leon, the stateroom attendant, er, way earlier. And I said, you know what? Yeah, let's get it down. I want to sleep. Because we were like, you've always wanted to know what that what the beds were like, and he yeah. was like, oh, do you want me to put it down? Yes, yes, I do. So everyone, Sarah gets the huge bed to herself tonight, and I am getting the, uh, I'm taking it, and you will get a full well, review of it tomorrow. A little tiny Murphy bed. A little tiny Murphy bed. I'm a tiny bed. But um, <laughs> anyway, I'm a tiny bean. Um, randomness, but if watch the girlfriend reviews, great channel. Don't know them. Wish we did. Millions of subscribers. But Girlfriend Reviews, um, Fall Guys. Look that it's up. an earworm of a song. Yeah, it, it, it. it'll get in your ear. Uh, I am a tiny bean, so I'm a tiny bed. But um, anyway, we're going on too long. We're going to change a little bit, and you will see our debrief next. Day one done. Day one done and in the history books. That's it. We're done. Mic up. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go to bed. <laughs> we are, listen. I'm going to say something we have said in every single cruise vlogs we've on day one we've ever done, but guess who else has said it? Literally everyone, anyone, any chat, any channel you've, any of you have ever followed that does cruise blogs or vlogs or whatever the heck they're called now, everyone will tell you day. day one is exhausting and we are exhausted. Yeah, we drove... About four hours. Yeah, probably a little here. over. So we were up a little, well, yep. we were already up normal time, but that drive will get you. Yep. But it's just the excitement of the cruise, Everything. getting into your room, unpacking, getting acclimated, even if you know the ship. So yep. it's a busy day. Very busy. Not as busy as it is for the cast members, which they go. Oh, yeah. It's a really and busy yeah, time. they go out of their way. So we are, uh, we hope every single one of them, especially on, on the turnaround days, Get as much sleep as you guys can. We know you don't get much, but yeah, um, it, it's, a it's, just, it's a lot that they deal with. And uh, everyone says this too, and we've said this, but it is absolutely true. This is not hyperbole, as they say, hyperbole. Um, the cast members on board a Disney Cruise Line, 90% of the magic is made by them. 10% is probably the ship and everything. Yeah, it's totally yeah. true. We were actually chatting with lots of cast members yeah. today. We were like, you guys are what make us... Yeah. want to come back like yeah it's the, absolutely true just the great interactions you get and you saw in our video like we didn't have lazar on camera but we got to have santana on camera with us and it was just it's so fun over the years to get to know people it is, and, they, and, and build and relationships you, yeah. with people and yeah they just yeah, they really make it a great experience and even like our server tonight lewis we don't know we didn't know him until today but we've yeah. seen him on other cruises so it's yeah. You get to recognize people, so yeah, it's this fun, familiar kind of yeah, it's great not a, experience. It's not a joke. Um, again, this has been written about, spoken about, vlogged about, blogged about, everything about, podcasted about. The cast members on board a Disney cruise, on the Disney cruise line, on a Disney cruise ship, truly, many of them get to know you, and they, you will, and they will, you will remember them, they will remember mm -hmm. you years down the road overwhelmingly more this is not a slight on disney parks you know we love disney parks but disney parks don't hold a candle they're not the candle's not even there it's not even ignited to a disney cruise line yeah it's, it's just, just not extra so special. it's extra special um so anyway so in saying that but uh it's been a great yeah. day and really quickly though i would like to focus oh no as we always do on a couple negatives oh dear <laughs> not negatives just a little odd things for example we are DVC, Disney Vacation Club members. Listen, Disney. Oh, he's sad we didn't get the magnets on the door. I think we're both sad. Listen, everybody. We Listen. have a bunch of those magnets. We have too many they to count. Be They've probably been thrown away. Some of them. I haven't thrown them away. They're in a box. Are they? Yep. Okay. <laughs> but every time we've come, we have a big old DVC magnet on our door. Other people have them on their doors. Disney. Where's our DVC magnet? We're going to be okay without a DVC magnet. <laughs> I just want to point out that we did not get a DVC magnet, and we are entitled to a DVC magnet. However, We're be okay. I'm being extra picky. Um, there was one other thing I want to talk about. Like, for, Oh, um, I'm only half joking, but I'm kind of being serious, too. The um, If you have Remy or Paolo or something, usually when you come on board, uh, yeah. I want fun. Sarah to tackle this one. Go ahead. Yeah, usually when you go to your stateroom yeah. on your little fish extender outside, yeah. you'll have like a little card that says Paolo, Remy, and it's like 
we invite you to come here yep. and enjoy a lovely meal. And it's nice. It's like this little extra touch. Um, this is the first year when we haven't gotten any. Nope. So, so hopefully. That's really sad. I haven't seen anybody's on any doors, so I wonder if they're just not doing those anymore. Yeah. And if, is that a cost cutting more. measure for a little card to make you feel I better? Like it. It's special. Disney, stop cost cutting measures. Don't call it. Don't cut any costs. Hashtag bring back the paper navigator. <laughs> bring back the paper navigator. <laughs> Actually, the app is still pretty good, but I do. The app is I okay, like but it's not as good as a paper navigator. Um, hopefully, it's not a cost cutting measure. Maybe it's just this cruise only. But uh, I'm being completely serious. Leave a comment if you know something we don't, or if you if you've been on a cruise recently, and went to Remy or Apollo, and mm -hmm. did not get a uh, a card on your door yeah. because it was kind of special. It was kind of nice. But, yeah, we um, keep those. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm being extra picky right now but I, I don't think so so i don't know yeah. anyway so day one let's start this is our officially we're going to enter now into our hashtag debrief by the way we invented five minutes the, in we're five minutes in and oh, we boy. did invent Buckle the up. uh vlog debrief um which uh, many other channels are now following us on as oh, they should brother. just um if you could compensate us we'd appreciate it oh, I'm, I'm kidding but um <laughs> let's start at the beginning so well, can we do maybe like highlights of the day like maybe okay. Top. Well, do you want to talk about like getting to the port? Or? Yeah, well, maybe like I know we said we're going to do kind of like a tips video. Oh, we can do a tips video. Um, but I will say that your mileage may vary with the port of Miami. We are, <laughs> well, just because the last time we were here in January on the Magic, which we will link to one of those vlogs, um, we ended up parking way far away. And that was, according to the porter we talked to today, because they were doing repairs that evidently didn't happen to the parking garage <laughs> that's funny. right across from the port terminal. Um, <laughs> today, though, we parked at the port terminal. We prepaid ahead on our cruise in January. We actually paid at the end, not at the beginning. So that was a little different. Um, but you paid at the beginning like you do at Port Canaveral. And it was just literally a walk across the street yes yeah. so super duper easy also if for some reason you do not get your luggage tags in the mail no one got their luggage tags everyone a lot of people on this cruise did not get luggage tags. many people didn't if you didn't get your luggage tags fun facts when you get to the port um they will actually put a temporary disney tag on with your stateroom number yeah and it would still show up to your room which was good yeah, we had an amazing i say amazing we, we only spoke to him for three or four or five minutes but he was yeah, he was helpful. absolutely very helpful very awesome we did not get his name but he was one of the uh, uh the porters right yeah. porters um and he gave us the handwritten ones and yes. everything like that so very nice very awesome and i just want to throw it in now we'll throw it at the end tip them people everyone tip them they work hard they work hard um Give them three, four, five dollars, whatever. Yeah, I don't want to say how much to give them. More than that, if you can. Yeah, more than that, if you can. But um, if you use a porter when you get here or when you leave, which we always do when we leave, we'll get to that later. But yeah. always tip them, tip them extra. Uh, be be generous. Um, they really work hard. They appreciate it, yeah. and uh, you know what? It feels good to help someone. Yeah, I so. agree with that. Especially the travel industry has been hit very hard. Very hard. So yeah, industry. if you can tip extra, always always tip extra, um, especially if it's especially if it's deserved you know so yeah 100 yeah. percent um yeah so that is just something to know um i will say do check the no before you go because things are changing fast and loose on yeah. the cruise lines the things that we had to do in april are different than the things we had to do now in terms of check-in testing <laughs> requirements all that stuff it could all change tomorrow it could all change, it tomorrow. Could all change so tomorrow check the note before you go if you're yeah. cruising with disney it will give you all the current information um but our embarkation was super fast this was the latest we have ever checked ever. into a cruise which was only 115 and 130 but it so is the latest we usually like to get on our ship as soon as possible which i think a lot of people do especially if you're on like a three or four day cruise you want to spend as much time yeah you do and on this one literally we just walked into the ship and there was like no major line. There was a couple. We were actually here us. prior to our boarding time, and they said just yeah, go. Come on in. They just said come on in. It, it's not that serious, everyone. It's not that serious. One thing I would like to say, everyone, and speaking about that, I let's just talk about it. Let's pull that bandage off. I really, really, really miss. I don't know what the oh, word no. name was. The COVID pre-show. Oh, that was during so the good. during the height of COVID cruising. 
which we'll we have some clips over there. Yeah, which we have talked about. Oh, we'll see and um, we are, we we were, have been, are, and will always be. I want to make it completely clear with everyone. We joke a lot on this channel. I, I joke a lot. I'm very sarcastic sometimes. Um, we we are sorry that COVID ever happened. We have been personally affected by it. Our family has. However, in saying that, there were some things we learned during it. Um, some things we liked better, actually, that yeah. Disney did and I other liked companies that did. Welcome show that was very fun. Yeah, the welcome show during when Disney reopened mm -hmm. for during COVID, Maybe, it was overwhelmingly so better to come on board a Disney cruise ship. And I'm not talking the crowd levels. Ignore all the crowd levels that were non-existent and everything. But when you came on board and Maybe, you had that Maybe. private show, it was just awesome. Um, prior to that, when you came on board a Disney cruise ship, they'd of course say your name, just like they did during that and everything. And you could walk around and wander and make you be dancing like he always does, going crazy. Today was a little odd. Do you want to say well, what happened I, today? I think you're forgetting that we kind of had to do the same thing in April. And also on the Magic in January. Did we? Yeah. They pretty I've much, already forgotten. Well, everyone. we had the show. That was the difference. They had the show. There's no show this time. There's no show. Yeah. But then after that, they wanted you to go straight to security. Yeah, so but the show the made it feel good. Like, feel... Okay, I get Because today when we got on board, and you guys saw the video, uh, Welcome Aboard, Sarah and Brandon... And they were quickly Close getting up to our muster station. You you had yeah. you had zero time. It was immediately get on up and get on yeah. out. So um, there are some pros and cons. Um, this is getting a little long, so maybe we should just it could we'll do a tip video. We'll talk a little <laughs> bit more about all of this. Um, highlights today for me was were, was definitely the big highlight was the crew because we got to see. Uh, our service team from I think last so. time yeah. and also just I agree. with a lot of really great cast members and it just felt really good to be back on the show. I actually agree. Um, to highlight genuinely and this is not just being said, we, we've talked about this off film, off, film, off camera. Um, the highlight was seeing some of these crew members, these cast members yeah. that we've grown to know and see in the past and meet new ones. Yeah. Um, I, I we're going to learn all their names. We hope we learn all their names. Um, we're still learning their names, but um, it, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. My other highlight, this room. It's huge, and yeah. I love it. Listen, everybody. Listen. Don't let anyone con you in to an inside state room or anything. First, well, if you like an inside state room, go for it. Everybody has different tastes. But I think you know you and your family best, so you got to figure out what works <laughs> you best do. for you. Um, I was gonna. I love the verandas. I don't ever not want a veranda, but now what I don't ever want. Oh no! What? You want this room every time? I want this room every <laughs> this time. This is not within our budget. This, it may not be in our budget, everyone, <laughs> but maybe Disney can work some pixie dust magic. Oh no! This room not only is it a veranda. This room is huge. For for us, it's huge. I'm, uh oh! Hold on, everyone. Uh oh! Everyone, I don't know if that filmed that. My camera, my my iPhone. That's the phone's way of telling us we need to wrap this. Yeah, it just went to low power mode. So you may have seen me do that. Yeah. Anyway, give us like just two more minutes. Okay. Um, well, other hard Awesome room. Yeah. Awesome room. We got to do a lot of cool things that we did that we love. Pink. Skyline. Um, Apparently all the drinks today. I we promise also we did aren't the, normally like this. Well, no. If you've seen our other videos, you know, yeah. you know we're not. But we were today. Um... We did the other uh, Sail Away Lounge. What's the... Oh, the Bon Voyage. The Bon Voyage, um, which is French for, I don't know, Good Voyage. Yeah, Good Voyage. Maybe. Leave a comment. Voyage got to be Voyage. And Bon. Very Bon. Yeah, good, very good. Yeah. Very Good Voyage. Yeah. Does everyone remember? I don't know. One of the Disney World attractions. The guy goes, Bon Voyage. But it, they shut... Was that the uh, extraterrestrial alien encounter? I do not remember. Tim Curry to the voice. Leave a comment if you remember. Um, anyway, it has been a great day. Yes, awesome. Tomorrow is a day at sea. Mm -hmm. That means that we are going to a chillax. We're going to make fun of me, but chillax is coming back. Hashtag. So like Sarah's been trying to make that happen. Everyone, it's for her, happen. make it happen. Yeah. Make it trend on Twitter. It's been Twitter. Than where you've been at. Make it trend everywhere. <laughs> we, Everyone. You're part of our community. Make it, make it yeah. trend. So we're going to Jeez. go to the rainforest room. 
We are we, going to oh. Palo Ranch. We're going to go back to the rainforest room. Maybe we're going to go see a movie. Oh, yeah. There are, yeah night. We'll talk more about that. And it's pirate night. So um, we'll, we'll fill you guys in all, all that. Too. Oh, really quick. Hopefully you've made it this far. Let's end this really quick. But, Sarah, please tell them what we learned at dinner tonight. And they gave us a push notification on our phone about oh, the time change. Two things. Number one, people often ask about capacity. According oh. to the cast members we talked to, there's about 2,600 people on our cruise, which is like literally double of any cruise we've taken in the last year. Yeah. So that's crazy. Do you know what the max is on this ship? It's 30, almost 4,000, I think. Oh. I'll put the, the thing in here. Okay, so we're doing okay. I think we're at like three quarters capacity. Okay, cool. Um, but fun facts we did not know. It's an hour behind from Grand Cayman. So yeah, Cayman they have said uh, before we go to bed tonight, set our clocks back, or if we don't, just be aware that um, every time we look at it, subtract an hour. So for the next two days, we will be an hour behind yep. what we are normally used to, and then we will go back forward when we go yep. to Day at Sea and Castaway Cube. Yeah, so uh, that was really interesting. Thankfully, they told us, and then the Disney uh, app, the, app the DCL app, did send us a push notification mm -hmm. on that, which is cool. So uh, other than that, uh, oh, really quick, we did meet, um, I forget their names, and I apologize, maybe Sarah remembers, but uh, two cool people that were sit, three cool people that were sitting next to us at the table next to us. So we talked to them for a while tonight. Listen, too. we might as all well been at the same table. We all, yeah. It we'll was, talk about that later. <laughs> it was this much space between the tables, but they were really cool people. Yeah, and also Gold Cast we Club members, too. And so we were all kind of like, is it just us? Yeah. We were comparing notes. Um, but they were really awesome. It was yeah. great to chat with them. We yeah. joked. We're like, well, I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll have yeah. more conversation. But very cool people. Yeah, Just in nice. case they end up somehow seeing this one day. Yeah, but, it was um, awesome. Other than that, this has gone on for 16 minutes and 11 seconds it's now. Let y'all know um, You guys love our debriefs. And if you don't, you should. But uh, we're sorry. Sarah, anything else before we do truly go to bed? No, I would like to go to bed. And I hope everybody enjoyed the first day hopefully yeah i promise we will not drink the entire time of this cruise but if you were interested in lounges we're showing you all the highlights yep we are um, <laughs> we are and then tomorrow we're going to show you highlights of more food cannot wait for power brunch yeah that we're really full right now but i still can't wait i'm tired and i'm ready to go tuck you into your little bed i'm going to the high to bed <laughs> anything that's it right no that's it all right cool so with that Thank you so, so much to all our patrons on Patreon. You're awesome. We did send you a quick little uh, video to the Patreon page today um, before we left port. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you to all our subscribers. Our subscribers are awesome. We love the interactions we we always get to have with you and everything. Yeah. We're just awesome. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button, bell, comment, everything. Y you know the drill. Um, but thank you all. Um, we, we wish you were all here with us. We've said it before, but it is true. It'd be awesome if we could all, all of us, get together one day yeah. and hang out. But yes. thank you. And if you have more questions about Disney Cruise Line, yep. let us know in the comments and yep. we will do our best to answer them. Absolutely. But with that. With that, we're going to go to bed. Woo. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.